Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. Well, we really don't see a lot of guys in MMA with boxing skills on this level. He certainly could have gone on to great things as a professional boxer, but he believes he has the best hands in the sport, and he will be looking to prove as much here tonight. And he has the background to prove that, right? He's not saying something that is not true. He does have the ability to say that. He can say he has the best hands in the game because he has shown it. And when you watch him box, when you watch a guy go into a fight with this young man and think, that it does not matter what his credentials are. He is going to stand with him and prove that he's better. They usually will go to sleep because no action is wasted. The jab starts it all. He fights behind this beautiful, educated jab, jabbing high, jabbing low, and then the overhand right is unbelievable. It's his kill shot, he calls it, and he lands it all the time. Well, this fighter has read the Marquess of Queensbury rules cover to cover. Truly one of the best boxers we have in the UFC today, and he works everything off of that jab. Oh, yeah, the jab is what got him to the show. He is just a phenomenal boxer, and John, I love you going out the Queensbury rules in the walkout with this man because he signifies everything that is boxing. He's a guy that loves the sport. He wanted to take boxing on his back and bring it to mixed martial arts and show that it, it is as an effective form of combat as anything else. He said, I'll walk away from an Olympic opportunity to take my sport into the octagon and show that we are the best fighters in the world. And he's done that to this point in the UFC. So we've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon. Straight punch lands. These guys throwing early. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Checks the leg kick. Oh, crippling knee to the body. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab, DC? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, the first one you learn is the jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Beautiful leg kick throw. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise. Nice shot there, DC. He is officially rocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. the turnover in that kick. Oh! Big ball for punch lands. Now we get back to range. And he landed the right hand there. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense. He's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively. And he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Nice right hand. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy when he... Wow! Oh! Huge right hand! What a Okay, ready? Right, count two. You ready? 
Here we are, early round two. Ryan there, his opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. He's a hit with a shot like that. You don't know what to do. Run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Huh. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo. Oh! Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. That one appeared to stun him. He's got to go chase that finish. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Look at how he drives his knee. Right into his opponent's midsection. Great punch landed with so much power. He's very tricky when he throws that body. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. What a performance. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes. All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 48 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by the puzzle. So the celebration is on with him and his team and rightfully.